How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech and for today we are going to take a look at the Aver Media Live Streamer 311 which is a combo box that you do get a microphone, you do get a webcam and also a capture card included. Perfect for big streamers or just people who want to take their stream to the next level with some a bitch gear now this was graciously provided by a sonic inform which is the official distributor of aver media here in south africa so a big shout out for them for providing it for this review now as for pricing the live gamer 311 is retailing for around a four thousand rand here in south africa but unfortunately i couldn't find it either on amazon or on a new egg so i'm not exactly sure about those uh, you can still buy them separately but not in this box set i found it a bit weird but okay you do at least have the option of getting them separately now the 311 box set does comprise the PW313 webcam, the GC311 Live Gamer Mini Capture Card, and the AM310 USB condenser microphone, which I have already taken a look at separately, and it is still currently my main USB live streaming microphone. So yeah, it is a pretty good. But now let's quickly switch over to the microphone we're going to use it as our main source of audio and then also the webcam which is right up there so you guys can see how it looks now i'm going to switch between the main cam and the webcam just now and then so you guys can see the difference and also the audio quality now let's start off with the am310 condenser microphone first so it is a usb microphone with a large metal capsule that weighs in at around 500 grams you do get the included mic stand that is a pretty decent but i would recommend that you maybe get something like this boom arm that you can move around a lot freely it's not going to be in the way in front of your keyboard be or behind your keyboard it is it is very simple so i would say rather get something like this and it's just going to be a lot more handy if you are streaming quite a lot now at the back of the microphone, you do get a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that you can use to either monitor your PC's audio or the direct audio coming from the microphone itself. Then at the front, you do get the volume knob that controls the audio coming out from that 3.5 millimeter jack. But not only that, the knob also allows you to mute the microphone so that Google can't spy on you. And Google, if you're listening, I know you are. Please don't delete my YouTube account and the mic, mic muted. So it's not really going to help. Don't delete my YouTube account, please. All right, thank you. But now as for sound quality, as you guys can hear, it does sound pretty good. Again, I am using this particular microphone for all of my game streams that I do, just because it's nice and simple and I don't really need to go for anything else. I have it and it's honestly good enough. Now, of course, when streaming, you can apply some filters, some noise gates and some uh, limiters and so on in Streamlabs or OBS or whatever program you're using to stream or record, which is honestly very handy. So you do have a lot of control over the microphone if you want it to or just when you're recording offline or in premiere as well but now that's pretty much it for the am310 microphone again if you guys want a bit more detail more in depth then check out the link in the video description for the full review then next up is the gc311 live gamer mini which is a tiny usb capture card that is perfect for gamers or streamers on the go now to be clear for beginner streamers you do not need a capture card to record or stream your footage all you need to do is use your current computer to do that now where the capture card comes in is if you wanted to record your console and also if you wanted to use a dual system stream so if you have a gaming pc and a streaming pc to separate all of the load that is where a capture card comes in Pretty much all a capture card does is it takes the display information from the one source and allows it to be sent to the second device. So if you have a console or a laptop that you game on, it goes into this and then you take the display information from those and then it goes into a secondary source that is going to 
record it or otherwise stream it to YouTube or Twitch or wherever. No physical recording is actually done on the device itself. A lot of times it does say it's hardware encoding. That's just a nice term of saying that you do still need to have a computer to do all of the encoding work. This doesn't do anything, no encoding, nothing like that. It's just a middle point. So then the Live Gamer Mini is an external USB capture card that gets its power from the USB source and also transmits all of the data. Now, along with that, you do get also two HDMI ports. The HDMI needs to be connected into the device you want to record, like your console or your gaming PC. And then the HDMI out connects to your main gaming monitor so you can still get the display from your gaming PC to the gaming monitor. This allows you to get pretty much zero latency between the two devices, and then you will use the USB connection and plug that into the Live Gamer Mini and also into your secondary streaming PC. And that is pretty much how it connects. It's pretty simple once you get to know how it actually works, but I know for in the beginning it is a bit daunting to understand how everything works. But after everything is connected, all you need to do is use your favorite streaming program like Streamlabs, OBS, OBS, XSplit, pretty much anything, and you can record or stream straight from them. Now that all of that is out of the way, let's quickly talk about specs because the Alive Gamer Mini does support up to 1080p image at 60 hertz or 60 fps. Anything above that, the PC will need to downscale and you're not going to get that full image. If you are using a 1440p display at 144 hertz, let's say, it's not going to be able to do that, only 1080p 60 fps. Then uh, lastly, let's get into the PW313 webcam, which is a 1080p 30fps webcam with two built-in mono microphones, which is handy if you are in a pinch, and also this protection slide door that you can just slide close and open so that, again, Google can't spy on you. So again, Google, please don't delete my YouTube account. I need it. It's my main source of income. Also a nice feature is that the webcam can turn around 360 degrees. So if you wanted to turn it all the way around, you can. And also it can tilt up uh, to the sides a bit more to get it more leveled. If to mount the webcam, you do have that standard claw like mounting system that you can just hook onto your monitor or your whatever. And then also uh, it does have a tripod mount underneath that as well. So if you wanted to mount it on, onto a tripod or something else, you can do that, which is pretty handy as well. Then also just for the cable, you do get a 1.5 meter USB 2 cable, which is also pretty standard. Now then as for image quality, I compared the PW313 against my Logitech C920, which is also a very popular webcam, to see the differences between the two. Now straight off the box, I will say that the 313 it does look a bit better color-wise and so, However, I will say that the C920 does have a sharper image overall. It does have a lot better control over your settings. You can adjust the contrast a lot more, the color more, and just like the focus as well. You can't adjust the focus on the 313, which is a bit weird because I did find that sometimes it didn't look entirely in focus, especially with my eyes. So yeah, it's going to be up to again what you personally prefer. I do believe that the C920 does look a bit better overall. But now that's pretty much it for my review of the Live Streamer 311 box set. It's also a nice little deal if you are just getting into streaming or if you're just wanting to move into the dual system streaming as well. It's a nice little bundle that you can get also for not too much. Honestly, I still prefer the, the microphone. It's pretty much the best one out of all three. And again, I'm still using it until today. Sounds good enough for pretty much everything that I do gaming streaming wise. Now for the webcam, it's decent. Uh, I would have liked to see a bit of better image quality because the C920 is already quite old it's, it's a couple a couple of years old so i would have liked to see something a bit better there but the image isn't bad it's just the contrast is a bit better and the sharpness on the c920 but 
yeah, it's it's honestly not too bad. And as for the Alive Gamer Mini, this is a cute little capture card. I do honestly like it. It's also just, if you're a gamer on the go, especially if you move around a lot with your consoles and so on, this is going to be a nice a little device. I just would have liked if it was maybe USB type C instead of micro USB. But honestly, that's the only complaint that I have with the Live Gamer Mini. So yeah, that's pretty much it. A big thanks to Sonic Inform for supplying all of this for the review. Big shout out to them again. They are the official distributor of Aver Media for here in South Africa. Now, if you guys want to get all of these for yourself, I will leave links in the video description. It's mostly going to be for here in South Africa because the box set you can't find overseas, but I will link them individually as well. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching guys and I will check all of you next time. Cheers guys, it's kind of in the way now, <laughs> but yeah, cheers guys.